On this Holy Family Sunday, the gospel reading is obviously about the Holy Family. In particular, this year, we hear the passage about the presentation of Jesus in the temple. There are five figures in this scene, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Simeon, and Anna. In my reflection today, I will focus on St. Joseph. St. Joseph is sometimes forgotten, but he's not forgotten here at Conception. If you come to visit us and spend some time in our historic basilica, you will begin to admire the murals painted high on the walls of the basilica. After Jesus and Mary, the next figure most depicted is St. Joseph. Indeed, St. Joseph is central in the devotional life of Conception monks. But not only us, just a couple of weeks ago, Pope Francis published a beautiful document about St. Joseph. He did this on the 150th anniversary of the decision of Pope Pius IX to declare St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church. I encourage you to read this, and you can find it by searching Pope Francis and St. Joseph online. I would like to share with you something about the place of St. Joseph in the faith of our Hannes family. My dad, Leo Hannes, had a great devotion to St. Joseph. In his small prayer book, which he used every day, one can find several special prayers to St. Joseph. And this was one of dad's favorite. St. Joseph, look, I'm tired tonight, but somehow I think that you care for being a father and one who works are things that both of us share. It tires a man, yet the heart is light. For patron saint, it's all worthwhile. Its rich reward is a loving wife and joyous light and a child's smile. O father, worker, bear with me. Help me, Joseph, to do my best to love, protect my family till work shall cease and heaven is rest. So yes, dad had a great devotion to St. Joseph and it sustained him through difficult times and through his own physical ailments. But St. Joseph also brought him joy. He appreciated that a grandson and a great-grandson were named Joseph. But he was especially filled with joy when his oldest child, his first daughter, made her profession as a Notre Dame sister, and she received a new name and a new patron. How could it be anyone other than St. Joseph? So on this feast of the Holy Family, may all of us, especially fathers and husbands, rely on St. Joseph to inspire and protect us. <laughs>